bike. So currently I'm along East Cow Seafront with my lovely bike. I don't know how much you can see from there. It's one of those um, Victoria Pendleton ones, so it's very lovely and I don't use it enough. But that is why I'm on this mission, so. I was speaking to a friend today about sweet alternatives and she told me to buy some of these options hot chocolates and quark, is it? Um, quark, this stuff. Because that is completely free, the quark, and these are only two sins a packet. And you can mix them into a sort of pasty moussiness um, so that I've put in there half a tub of quark and I actually used two of these, so that's four sins, because I heard that you have to add like a lot of sweetener and stuff. So I put a tiny bit of Splendor in just to sweeten it up, and it's made a really good um, chocolatey, creamy pudding that is only four sins. I will just add though that um, you can see how thick it is. Like it does really make you feel like you've eaten something that you shouldn't be allowed to have. So I think in that sense it's quite, um, yeah, that's quite interesting and I think that's quite a good thing actually. It's very, very filling. Um, but you just, you really feel like you've had something that you should be like, oh, I shouldn't have had that. When you can, which is quite good. Hello, so today um, I had a bit of a lion till about half past ten and me and a friend have arranged to go for a walk in the forest because it's a nice day and I don't start work till 2.15 and yeah so I actually haven't had breakfast yet I've brought um, some cereal bars with me and some fruit so that should be alright and I'll just get um, a salad or something for lunch before Hello, so it's Tuesday morning which means it's time to weigh in oh, I've just had my morning wee and I suppose I'd best do it while I'm still in light clothing this is quite scary I have no idea what to expect I've really really tried to stay off from checking up on my weight every day just because I think it's gonna make it harder if it says something good and then it changes on weigh-in day and stuff so yeah um, I've had a busy weekend at work but I've stayed on track I've not cheated once if anything I think I've been too good I've been missing out on sins and stuff because I've been sort of too conscious of what I've been eating or trying to save them up for something that I might want um but yeah let's go away hello so this morning I weighed myself and the loss was ridiculous and I genuinely thought I'd made a huge mistake when I, I'd um, weighed myself before. Um, I was almost not going to post about this because I thought it was a massive mistake um, and I've gone over and over in my head and my notes before and I know that the weight before was 21 stone 12 and a half pounds and this week has come out at 20 stone 9 which is a loss of 17 and a half pounds which to me just didn't sound at all possible um i was trying to work out where i could have made a mistake and what could have gone wrong with my calculations but i put it all in i've written everything down and that's what has been said so yeah um I, I, I can't quite believe it. I've spoke to people that have been on Slimming World a few times um, and a few people have said they have seen people have big losses like that. Um, often like the men in class that, that have that. Um, but as they said, it is just sort of like a detox. It's flushing out all the water weight and everything like that from your system. So, yeah, £17 and a half I mean it's good but I, I still would just feel like I can't quite believe that I don't feel any different within my weight I have done more exercise this week I've done um, bike rides walks um, <laughs> squats at work and stuff like that um, but 
yeah, I'm not sure how I feel because I still am in a bit of a state of disbelief. But my friends are just like, no, you've done it. That's great. Don't expect that bigger loss next week. But it is possible, so don't fret. And, yeah, I just feel a bit annoyed that I didn't feel my initial weight last week. Um, but I've done it this week, so, yeah. So, I'm going to end this vlog post here. Um, I am doing a few posts um, on my Instagram account. It is elisa.jones1991. Um, so feel free to follow um, and contact me on there. I know this just doesn't sound like a realistic weight loss, but it is, and somehow I've done it, and that's great, and I hope that I continue to stay positive. I haven't once cheated or even, like, given in to temptation, like, if someone's gone to McDonald's, I won't even take like one chip. Like I've been quite really overly strict with myself, more than I have to be. But at the same time, I don't want that stuff. Like I've completely, my mindset has changed, and this is what I've been waiting for for a long time. So that's really a positive thing. Um, yeah, follow me if you like. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below. Um, It'd be good to hear from you guys. Thank you. I just wanted to say before I go to sleep, thank you so much to everybody who's um, commenting, supporting, messaging, liking, subscribing to my posts because it really is helpful um, and it really just makes me feel like I'm not just doing this um, and that it's not getting seen like it it just helps you feel like people really are watching you and um, noticing what you're doing and that's actually really important when you're doing it um, especially this kind of way so I really appreciate your support and thank you very very much